Hello everybody, this is Reiner, this is Reiner Books. I'm a German booktuber living in Sweden, talking about books mostly written or translated into the English language. Today it is time to sort of summarize the week 45, and I have made little snippets for you because I've been to Uppsala last week, spent there two nights in a beautiful hotel close to the railway station. We went to a school, a partner school that I'm working with a lot. And we had workshops with um, a rapper from Germany, a musical teacher who tried to write verses with the students in German. And we came pretty close to a lot of students, actually. Uh, 1,400 students go to that school. And uh, as you know, in Sweden, there are no m not many precautions against the COVID-19 virus. We wash our hands, and that's about everything that we do. And we get vaccinated, of course, if possible. 80, I think 82% of the population here are vaccinated. So let's get started with the vlog, and let's get started with what I read and everything else. Welcome to Uppsala, where I will spend the next two nights and days. I'm here at the Hotel Academia, at close to the railway station, which you can see down to the left. An office building ahead of me, beautiful sights, right? And the city of Uppsala. Let's explore this room a little bit. I have a a board, a desk with my two computers, with a telephone, with a lamp, a television set from Philips, a bed, sleeps too, a beautiful, not a painting, but a photography here on the wall, and some curtains in blue, and it's time for a little adventure here in Uppsala. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Yeah. Shower, a little shower, beautiful toilet, and well, looks good.
Hello everybody, now I'm sitting here at home and I hope that you enjoyed the vlog scenes both from my visit in Uppsala last week and also from the um, stroll that I had uh, on Saturday evening here in Fasta where I live outside Stockholm. Let's get to the reading part of the week. I am slowly reading right now which has to do with a lot of other factors that are sort of influencing me and my life which is a lot of work at the end of the year. That's a normal workload that we have in my job. We have to uh, get our budgets down to zero, which means that we have to spend the money that we have and spending money is really uh, a lot of work if you want to do it by the rules and we have to do it by the book, of course. So <clears throat> this is a lot of work right now and with many different balls that we have to uh, have, we have to have, to have many different balls in the air. And um, I'm reading right now in this post-Soviet book club the novel by Rustam Ibrahim Gekov. It's called Solar Plexus, a Baku Saga in four parts. I've finished the first part. I'm into the second part. I know that some of my fellow friends from the post-Russian book club, from the post-Soviet book club, have already finished the book. I am a bit slower than you are. Bear with me right now. I hope that I finish the second part of the novel this week and maybe starting with the third one. So that's where I am uh, by reading Ibrahim Gekov. It's a very interesting novel about Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan, about lives of people in Azerbaijan in Baku uh, in several decades. And the first part is definitely uh, in the 19... It's after the Second War, shortly after the Second World War has ended and uh, many lives have been influenced by this horrible war, but also by the Stalinist terror. And um, we learn more and more about people living in Baku. It's a very okay read, I would say. I have told you last week that um, the, uh, the author Rusta, Rusla, Rustam, sorry, Ibrahim Gekov is a, an author who has worked in Russian together with a great Russian film director, Nikita Michalkov. And um, I think the signature is of the movies is recognizable. If you have seen movies by Michalkov that Ibrahim Gekov has written, you recognize also the novel. I didn't know that before I picked the book. So the other book that I'm reading, I'm supposed to read this week is still, I uh, haven't read so much more than still in the first story here, is After Parties by Antony Yasna So, Anthony Viesna So, a Cambodian American author who had so much things, so much planned. He had planned his first five novels, but then he didn't survive even the publication of his first collection of short stories. The author died at the age of 29. He was a graduate of Stanford University, but there was an overdose. He OD'd and he died in 2020 and this book was celebrated a lot. I'm very curious to read the stories about Cambodian immigrants in California. I'm going to tell you that uh, the Scotiabank Giller Prize has been awarded, has been given to Omar al Akkad for his novel What Strange Paradise, which I have now reserved at the City Library. They have it here in Stockholm and I think we'll get it quite soon. And hopefully I can read it this year. What Strange Paradise is a novel about the refugee crisis in Europe, in the world, about a little boy from Syria coming to an island somewhere in the Mediterranean where he meets a girl who lives there and she sort of starts taking care for him. And uh, this is what the story is, st the starting point of the story of that novel by Omar al Khat, who won the Scotiabank Giller Prize. Could be a body read if any one of you have this book. I will get it, I think, in about one or two weeks from now because there were no, there was no one, I'm number one in the queue, so they should be delivering this pretty, pretty soon to me. That's an offer. I give more offers for body reads in, in a few minutes after this because uh, there are also many lists now appearing on the net with the best novels, with the best books of the year 2021. And all these lists are always very interesting. The lists of the 10 best fiction books, the 10 best short story collections, the 10 best nonfiction books, whatever the combination of all of them, just in order to, to remind us of the year 2021, but also, of course, to promote books. And that's what it's all about, right? So what I wanted to say here is, so one of these lists that was published recently is the list of 
Publishers Weekly has, has announced its list of the 10 best books of 2021. There was one book, the first round actually, on this list that made me super happy, and that was Assembly by Natasha Brown, a novel that I read earlier this year. I'll put a link down below to my review of it. It's just definitely one of the best books that I've read in 2021, and I'm very happy that Publishers Weekly agreed with me. Uh, other books main mentioned by Publishers Weekly are Second Place by Rachel Kosk, which I haven't read, which is on my Kindle. An X of that, A Shock by Keith Ridgway, I haven't heard of that one. The War for Gloria by Atticus Lish. Wayward by Dana Spiata. All That She Carried by Tia Miles. All the Frequent Trouble of Our Days, the true story of the American woman at the heart of the German resistance to Hitler by Rebecca Donner. Dirty Work, Essential Jobs and the Hidden Toll of Inequality in America by E.L. Press. A Little Devil in America, Notes and Praise of Black Performance by Hanif abdul Rakib, And finally, Somebody's Daughter, a Memoir by Ashley Ford. I'm very happy about Assembly. The New York Times will come with its list of the best books. I think they do the 10 best and then they do the 10 best like in every category. So there will be lots of lots of book recommendations in the New York Times. I will talk about that later uh, when it comes out. Uh, but the National Book Award will be announced on Wednesday now this week. And this, the winners of the National Book Award will be announced. So this is of course a great thing for all book lovers. I read only one book from the finalists, and that was from the finalists of translated literature into English, translated into English, and that was Winter in Sakcho by Elisa Shua Dusapin. Link to the review of this book is down below. Um, a book that I really, really enjoyed, Elisa Shua Dusapin, and an authorship, an author, a super young author from France that I'm very interested in. She has already written three novels, and they're all going to be published very soon also in English. So who will win the American Award? I don't know about the American Award, the, the novels written in English. I have Hell of a Book by Jason Mott on my Kindle. I'm not very interested in Cloud Cuckoo Land by Anthony Dorr because I don't like stories that are playing in the Middle Ages, in the future and in our time. That sounds too confusing for me at least. Lauren Groff is of course a star to me. I have read her short story collection. I own her short story collection, Florida, that she published like two years ago. That was brilliant, uh, where Florida becomes like uh, a living being, animals and, and threatening nature and things like that. But Matrix, the book that she's nominated for, is a historical novel, which is not my kind of thing usually. They have The Prophets on the list by Robert Jones Jr., uh, and Zori by Laird Hunt, The Life of an Ordinary American Woman Starting in the Great Depression, as I understand. So if the author, if the award wants to raise an already known author to new heights, they might pick Groff or Anthony Doerr. Maybe Lauren Groff because she has never won one of the big ones yet. So she's could be her time, right? Uh, otherwise, I think that Hunt and Mott would be cool alternatives to win with uh, later time with Zori and Jason Mott with Hell of a Book. We'll see you on Wednesday. And tell me all about it in the comments down below. What have you read and what is your favorite for the National Book Award? So that, I think, was the um, book stuff that I wanted to tell you. I have a couple of books that are on the TBR of my end of the year reads that I want to finish at the end, by the end of the year. And here are some offers for buddy reads. If you are want to read the, uh, one of these books with me, please drop me a comment and we can get in contact if we don't know each other yet. So uh, these are the six books that I offer Buddy Reads for. And uh, one of them, actually a seventh book is planned and I hope it will work. Hopefully I will do a Buddy Read in the beginning of December, starting in the beginning of December with the novel Abundance by Jacob Guanzon, what was long listed for the National Book Award. We'll come to that when it happens. But the books that I would love to buddy read with you out there are Always Brave, Sometimes Kind by Katie Bickle from Canada, just because I love this cover. A Thriller from London, England, The Waiter by Ajay Chowdhury. Another great cover. Bullet Train by Kotaro Izaka from Japan. I traveled on a bullet train 
Then we come to the Booker Prize. One book that was long listed is A Town Called Solace by Mary Lawson, which I haven't read yet. If you haven't read it yet, and if you want to read it this year, please, let's plan this. And short stories long listed for the Giller Prize last year in Canada. Hear the Dark by former Giller Prize winner David Bergen. And why not, if you haven't done so, if you haven't done so, why not read nothing less than the Booker Prize winner of 2021 together with me, Heiner from Rainier Books, and with you out there, The Promise by Damon Galgott, which I haven't read yet. I own it and I want to read it this year. I would love to read it with you. Please drop me a line. These are the books. These are the offers. This is the video for today. It's Monday the 15th of November and it's week number 47 starting here in no 46 starting in Europe 47 in the United States and I actually found out why this is so because in the United States and in Canada weeks start on sat weeks end on Saturdays and new weeks start on Sundays in Europe Weeks end on Sundays and new weeks start on Mondays. And that makes this little difference that we have between our continents. So that is that. I hope that you stay safe wherever you are. COVID is rising a lot in Europe and especially in my native country, Germany. So all of you, be careful. Get the third shot if you can get it. It's not a booster. It's a part of the vaccination because the, the usual, the two injection vaccination was against the old one, the Italian virus that went around last year. The booster is necessary for protecting us against Delta. Delta that is, a German professor said Delta is a racing car uh, compared to the walking man of the Italian virus last year. It's, it's the difference between a walking guy and a racing car. And that's why we have so many infections because of Delta, it's so much more dangerous. So please take care of yourself, take care of your loved ones, and I hope to see you again very soon on this channel. Thank you very much, bye-bye.